Dan Moskal here, and in this video we are going to move your Blogspot website to a custom domain. So right now your website address probably has website address, we have custom domain video or example video here, and then it says .blogspot.com. Now you can leave it this way, but uh, I strongly encourage you to move it to a custom domain, especially if you plan on doing some SEO and uh, search engine optimization for your website. And for this example, we're going to use a GoDaddy account. So the very first thing we want to do is go into our website, and that's the custom domain example for this one. Next thing is go over here to the settings tab on the left hand side, click settings. You see right here, add a custom domain. And this is right over here with publishing, blog address, custom domain video.blogspot.com. You want to hit add a custom domain. And then for just this example, we're going to do www.example.com as the website we want to move it to to remove the blog spot. And this is where you want to type in your domain name, whichever one you want, you get to choose. And then once you hit save, you're going to get an error. Uh, it's usually going to be number 12, unable to verify your authority to this domain, error number 12. But these four pieces of information are the golden pieces of information that you need. So once you do this, the next step is to go over to your GoDaddy account. You need to log in up here. We already logged in. Um, this is a website for my mom, Jolie Moskal. So the first thing, click on domains, and we're going to show you this, but her domain is BibleStudyWithJolie.com. You want to click launch. Now from here, we need to go over to DNS zone file. It's right here on these three little tabs. Do you see where my mouse is? Whoops. But click DNS zone file. Then from this screen, you need to click Edit. That's going to open up a new tab and a new window. And then, you need to scroll down here, and this is what we're looking for, CNAME alias. Scroll down here, and where it says www, this is probably the last row on your GoDaddy account. You need to click on this little pencil button. It says www. Now over here on our blogger, it says www.ghs.google.com. You need to take the second part, ghs.google.com, copy this, and then you need to paste it in right here. Currently yours probably has an at sign. Just delete that and paste in the ghs.google.com. That's the first part. Now. Directly underneath that, you need to click this quick add, quick add. Here, you need to paste in the other two pieces of information. These are the other two pieces. So this one, this first one goes directly underneath the www, just like in this image. So you need to go here, click copy it, or paste it rather. And then you need to take the other piece of information. This is the fourth golden key. Copy it. And this is going to say a .googlehosted.com. You see, it's just kind of gibberish, and then .googlehosted.com. And you need to paste this in right here. So you have one piece, two piece, three piece, four piece. And then you want to click Save Zone File. We're not going to click ours because we've already done this, but click Save Zone File. Once you do that, you can see ours is already right there. We are, are uh, sorry, we have already done this. But once you click Save Zone File, you're almost done. After you click Save Zone File, it's going to save something and it's going to take you to another screen. But we're going to go back to my account because there's only one last step you need to do. Click on Domains. I'm sorry. Actually, I think we can get there from here. <clears throat> yes, this is the screen you need to find. It's domains. You can probably click up here and then click all domains. 
So what you want to do is you want to check box next to the domain you want to move. And then you need to go to this blue button and you need to click on forwarding domains. Um, what you want to type in Whoa. What you want to type in is www. and then this is your domain, the custom domain that you've chosen. Ours is Bible Study with Jolie.com because we're moving my mom's website. I'll show you in just a second. And then click Edit, click Save or Add It, and let's just check it and just make sure. Okay, it's going to take a little while. I think it'll take up to 48 hours. And that's it. Once you have it forwarded and you have these four pieces of golden information plugged in, it'll usually take an hour or three. I believe it'll take up to 12 hours before your website gets totally moved and it's redirected properly. So here's the website that we moved from my mom, BibleStudyWithJolie.com. And the reason you want to forward it is because, <laughs> so we had it set up a little bit incorrectly, but without the www in front of it, it'll take you to an error page if you don't forward it, just like this is right now. But when you do forward it, this will take you, no www, it'll take you directly to the correct website. So quick recap, it's these four pieces of information that you have to get and then you have to plug into your uh, domain details by editing under the CNAME alias and the last step is to actually forward your domain. So let's just make sure this is forwarding correctly. So this should be forwarded properly now before we had it forwarded improperly which is why we didn't get taken right there. So that's all you need to do and uh, your website will begin to be forwarded. Okay, so right now it's still taking us to the wrong page, but that'll take an hour, three, I believe it'll take up to 48 hours, and uh, just to see how this image changes, let's go back over here. Bible study with Jolie, settings, and if you hit edit, you can see it now pops up redirect Bible study with Jolie.com to www.biblestudywithjolie.com. Um, I believe this will be checkboxed automatically, but uh, you do want it to redirect, so make sure this is checked. And that's it. So, again, this is Dan Moskal. Uh, you can find more information at danmoskaluniversity.com, and you can also check out our upcoming book, will be available on Amazon before the end of July 2013 How to Create a Website and Make Money Online with Google AdSense, Amazon, and companies such as Walmart, American Express, and uh, other affiliate networks. So uh, again, please like this video, leave a comment, let me know what your questions are, and if you have any problems with this, uh, please let me know and we can resolve it. Thanks for watching.